It's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. I know it's scary. It's scary. You're gonna be okay. This poor little quail was being picked on by the others. You can see he's got a lot of a lot of blood on his head. So we're gonna let him try and heal all by himself in this cage area. Hopefully he uh, hopefully he does all right. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. I know it's scary. It's scary. You're gonna be okay. You know. Oh, okay. So I've got a little warm wa water here and cotton ball to try and clean the quail up a little bit. It's okay. Oh, it's all right. I'm sorry. I'll be gentle. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. They just picked away all your feathers up there. Yeah. It'll be okay. Do one more cotton ball. That's a little better at least. Try to eat a little something, quail.
good. Let's stay inside. All right, it's been a few days, and this little quail seems to be doing pretty well. His head is still a little messed up, but uh, no more blood, so that's good. We want to give him a few more days of isolation before introducing him back to the other quail. I've got some yard work to take care of, but I'll let you guys watch over him for the, for the time being. This little quail seems to want to come out and help me mow up the leaves. I'm glad to have captured his bird call on camera. He doesn't do it all the time. It's melodic quality is more pleasing than some of our other animals out here. If I didn't know it was a quail, I'd probably just think it was another songbird. Why would the quail pick on each other? Could it be stress? Boredom? Maybe there's just too many males in one confined space. I'm a little worried that I may have introduced too much stress to the birds with my artificial light experiment. I was trying to simulate longer daylight hours to get them to start laying eggs. That might have had something to do with it. It's been about two weeks since I separated the injured bird. And rather than move him back with the others, I'm gonna move just a couple of the other birds into his cage. It's okay. All right, little jailbird, your two weeks of solitary are up. Try to play nice. Good Lord, come back here, you little, little escape artist. All right. Play nice with each other.
Maybe this one will be a little more docile. It's okay. This doesn't look like it's going to work. Come on. Come here. Come here, bird. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. It looks like these boys just don't get along with each other. Without my knowing it, Wendy had set up the light experiment again last night. This time hanging the light outside the front of the cage so they couldn't turn it off. And this little bird has been uh, seriously injured. So I don't know if it was the light as the stress or just male birds' uh, aggressiveness towards each other. But I'm going to have to keep this one separate now. We're running out of cages. <sighs> come here, little quail. I know, I know. See? Oh, come back here. I know, it hurts. They were meanies. Again, warm water. No, come back here. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. This one is uh, more severely injured than that first one was. Definitely. It's okay. It's all right. Ooh, boy, you got an active cut there. It's all right, it's all right, shh. It's all right. Okay, I don't know if this one's gonna make it. <laughs> Hang in there, little buddy. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 